The next important morphology is diabetic retinopathy and this one is different in one aspect that instead of seeing this through a microscope we observe it directly through an ophthalmoscope. The diabetic retinopathy basically causes two types of lesions non-proliferative changes and proliferative changes in which there is proliferation of new vessels. So firstly let's come to non-proliferative changes and basically these changes occur when diabetes damages the coat of parasites surrounding the endothelial cells of capillaries. This makes the capillaries leaky and when blood plasma starts leaking out of this we will see edema. But if the leakage is slightly more then along with plasma even the plasma proteins will leak out and we will see this as exudate. And if the leakage is so severe that along with plasma and plasma proteins even blood cells leak out, we call this as hemorrhage. So in non-proliferative changes you see edema, exudates and hemorrhages. Now let's see proliferative changes in which the main feature is formation of new vessels that we call as neovascularization. And as these new vessels are fragile, they rapidly undergo hemorrhage and this hemorrhage resolves into fibrous tissue which is known as fibrosis. So in proliferative changes you see neovascularization and fibrosis. 